An important part of Clive's business are his valuation tours, where members of the public can bring along their own items to have them valued by Clive. From time to time, apprentices from the Antiques Academy are invited to join him and his team. Throughout this course, we'll follow two of them, Laura and Opal, as they join Clive, David and Royston, and learn what it's like to assess antiques in the real world. Well, nice to meet you, Jean nice and Alan. Thanks for coming along. Clive. This is um, Opal. Hello. My, um, nice to meet you, Jean. Nice to meet you. Hello, Opal. Hello. My new um, assistant. I'm trying. <laughs> assistant, uh, uh, apprentice. That's it. Shall we go? Yeah. So, um, do you know what this bowl is, first of all? Well, I know it's a leak, and that's about all. And that was yeah. only in the last couple of years. So. <laughs> Would you know it's a leak? I have noticed, only just now though, there is a print saying Ah la leak France. So it's a good giveaway. It helps. Both, both help. the leaks marked. Yeah. It's either Ah la leak or just the leak. What's the difference then? Well, before 1945, there was Arla Leek, many Leek. After that, family taken over, they just put Leek. Uh -huh. So right. now we know. Okay. Yeah. So it's pre-1945. Every every pattern has a certain every sorry, every, every bow has a certain pattern and a certain name. And for the sake of me, I can't think of the name. I think this is Nimor from what I've read up, um, with the moulded printed flowers. Very good. Thank you. You like the leak then by the sound of it. I'm quite Simple. interested. I think it's really bold. It's a real statement piece in the room. I love the way that the flowers sort of diminish in size. Yeah. Are the minor scratches an issue? Are we worried about that? Um, on this occasion, I wouldn't worry too much. It's a bowl that's been used, isn't it? which is nice. Isn't yeah. it? You know, put yeah. the keys in maybe or something. <laughs> yeah. like. what, what have you used it for, Jean? Well, I don't know, I think fruit some of the time, it's had plants standing in it, oh. it's been shoved in the back garden, Is it really? covered in slimy In the water. garden? Yeah. yeah, it's just been shoved in the corner. That's amazing. Oh, it's so quite hard. going to throw yeah. it out. And yeah? <laughs> what was going to do? Was going to throw it away? Yeah. Yeah. It was. We were clearing out, we were moving, we were yeah. moving. and we were clearing out and, and we found this and Jean said, oh, I don't think I want this, you know, and she yeah. sort of pushed it to one side and then all of a sudden she saw the name in the bottom. I'm just going to put it um, in one of the bins and the yeah. sun just caught the... I thought, no, can't. We're going to recycle it. <laughs> yeah. No. That's a lucky story, isn't it? It's yeah. nice, a lucky story, yeah. It that saved nice itself. Story. That was a couple of years ago and I've had it must about 40 odd years, I suppose. I can't yeah. remember when I've... But I think it's a really nice bowl. Yeah. You know, actually, personally, I like the leak. Yeah. You know, like the colours, the variation of colours, various patterns and... You know, if you're collectors out there who like, you like, do like the leak as well... Yeah. Well, there's different, different sort of patterns you've got going, you've got... What's this called again? Nimore. 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 See, so many different patterns down there. You know, yeah. it's just it's hard to know them all. But I do love the bowl. Mm. You know, it's, so, like I was saying, it's pre-1945, which is not early, early, but... No. But, you know, the leak started... When, when did he start producing? I think he started about 1900, 1910. Oh, right. You know, you can, I could look up, probably, if you want me to, but top of my head. Oh. Yeah. You know, yeah. And do you remember how you got hold of it? I really can't remember. I've had it that long. I don't know whether I've just picked it up at a boot fair or... or just come along, just acquired yeah. it. Yeah, could yeah. be a neighbour, maybe gave it to you. Yeah, or, mm. you know. it's the same. It's just got pushed just and shoved everywhere. And, you know, I thought, Quite oh, hardy. I don't really want it. Mm. Yeah. Say. It was so just it's a couple of years ago that I realised that it was the leak. <laughs> it got saved. That's right, you've done the right thing. <laughs> Any idea of the value? No idea. No idea. No. So if I said to you, something like that auction in their days, would make between two and three hundred. Would that be a surprise? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'd be happy yeah, with that. Yeah, does it? Yeah. 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 That's what yeah, sort of thing they're worth, you know, between two and three hundred. Mm. At a good auction, maybe, yeah. you know. Yeah. But if it's something you want to sell today, it's is not it? Too bad. Come on, shall we? I don't know. What would you give us today for him? <laughs> it's my money. <laughs> 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 That's the difference. Um, if I, said to, if I said to you £150 in cash, would that be any good? And I'd probably try and sell it for 200 or something. Or 250 I'll try and sell it for 300 might I? Yeah, you might. <laughs> but that's what it's worth, between two and 300 Yeah. You're obviously worth thinking about throwing it out before until you realise oh, it could be valuable. So you're not yeah. obviously emotionally no. attached no, to no, it. No, no, no. no. Just the money side of things, you know? <laughs> Change the aspect of it. Yeah. yeah. Perhaps we'll put it in auction. 
Oh. Playing hardball. Playing hardball. <laughs> I like it. Well if I said to you 160. Shall we or shall we not? <laughs> I don't know. We'll put, <laughs> don't know. We'll put it in auction. We'll put it in cap auction and see what we get. But you're going to pay premium, you're going to pay commission, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you yeah. what I'll do with you. I know exactly what it's worth. Do you want the £200 for it? That's me out of it. Or you can go to auction. So it's got to make 300 quid out of it. Yeah. 200 quid? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Eugene, you know, you make me sweat in there a bit, don't you? Oh, done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done.